Hey, what's up guys? Another video to be talking about Irvine and Selfie. Well, not sure what to talk about on that, but we'll try and review them the best we can. So, thanks for stopping by and we will show you, oh, not, I'll show you the page and we'll get started. Here we are, Irvine. Timar is okay. Not great, but okay. The Zest Timar is pretty damn good, except for the fact that it's Machine and Beast, which I've mentioned many times already that there are not very many of those available. That's a thing. Baron Fortunato. And weapon selection is not very good either. But. He's gonna be stuck with guns anyway, so I guess it doesn't matter. <laughs> now when I look at this kit, it's just like... What, what, what's going on here with this kit here, guys? I'm not really sure I understand. This kit, like, is he supposed to be like a... Just uses cooldowns as his damage? Because he doesn't really have any damage here, guys. This bolting strike, I don't know why they gave it to him. Why does he have this? the only one that can actually chain properly other than uh, uh, 11 it, he has bolting strike on the JB side but it's kind of like the same thing like this <laughs> like why would you it's just not very good I'm not really sold on this you can definitely you can definitely tell that this is not a summon fest unit the fact that he only gets 50% low burst damage like 75% limit burst damage and stuff like that. Even though he is, I don't even know if he's a limit burst damage dealer or not. 60 times, 3 hits. I'm it's only, I'm surprised it's not only 1 hit, but it's 3. And he gets quad cast, which at that point I guess he would be pretty strong regardless. Because he has, he can finish several times in, in between chaining. I guess. Like you can use it right away and then while you're chaining you, he does it three times, he finishes three times. I think that, I don't know if that works. I don't know if that works or not. That's just my guess. I'm not really so s sure. So we can already write off that this guy is just not a summon fest unit so he's not going to have as good stats as a, as a summon fest unit unfortunately. Um, yeah. As you guys can see here, I can't really, I don't know where to put him, like he's a finisher obviously, but like if you have Cloud, Cloud is, is much, much better than this. And as much as I love Final Fantasy yeah, I just I just can't, I don't know, I don't think they tried. I feel like they just didn't try with him. Could have been great, could have been amazing, but instead he's mediocre and average because he's not a Sun Fest unit. I just, I don't know, what to, I don't know what to say, guys. Um, like, you should, if you don't have Cloud, of course, you won't buy Cloud for people who are not really following much of the game. I mean, CG Cloud from the movie, the AC version. So, yeah, that version of Cloud. Not the seven star, in case anyone doesn't know about him, the seven star old Cloud. No, not him. I'll give it up though, that he has to have three elements that he can choose from. But there is a huge detriment here, is that his earth element doesn't even have an imperil tied to it. And his only imperil is only 80%. So you'd have to have someone else who can do that imperil instead. Unless I'm missing something here. Nope. I'm missing anything. So he has a weak ass imperil that you cannot rely on. That's nice. Yeah, I don't know what to think, guys. What do you guys think? I'm not really sold. Unfortunately, I'm just not really sold on this. Considering that I have CG Cloud already, he's not really anything special, but... Try to be positive, try to look through his kit, but... There's just nothing here. I just, I just don't see anything here, guys. Nothing you should be worried about. 
but maybe he'll be good for something. I just don't know what that'll be. Anyways, moving on. The selfie. Decent TMR. Not the best because it's a fist, but it's decent for her. And her STMR is kind of a joke. That reminds me of how bad. I mean, it's, it's better than the Dual Fina STMR, but like, come on. 20% magic, really? 20% magic. Um, yeah, it allows her to lose their dual wields, which is nice in certain, certain cases. For example, this would be incredibly good on D Soul or D Bolo Soul because he does—he actually does not have dual wield innately, even though his normal version does, I believe. So whatever on that. <laughs> so as I mentioned in the news, she's basically like a support that can chain, and she does not have enough support, to my knowledge, when I was looking to be like that kind of a support damage dealer role. Doesn't, she just doesn't have the kind of stuff you 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 need. Like she has revive, but no a not no uh, auto revive or anything like that. Before you say, oh, maybe she has some white magic. Nope, it's all the magic she has. So no burst is also useless, but it also does allow her to unlock um, these ones, I believe. Pretty sure at the, when I woke up this morning and I looked at it and it was like, it was those. Yeah, it's these ones. It's the 47 times chain. Ignore, ignore the, ignore these ones because you're probably never going to reach these uh, modifier because it's, it's a, such a low chance, just like uh, Rat Marie. You're probably never going to reach that. And another thing that kind of hurts my head is that they gave her 50% gave her magic TDH as part of her SPB, like why? She's obviously meant to be a, a true dual wield mage and yet they give her this garbage. Her sound fest unit even is not that remarkable I don't think. She's good, she'll be good for dark visions with if you need earth and water. But I'm not really so sold on her support Capabilities is just not really good enough. Is it decent heal, decent LB fill rate buff, very low buff, but also decent uh, status resistance and things like that. I mean, it's okay. I'm just not that sold on it. And then there's this random chance, which I really don't like. You guys that have been following me on the channel by now, you guys know I don't like these random abilities. And then she has a random full stat break for one turn. Garbage. Why is it only for one turn? 70% full break is not even that good anymore. Why is it only for one fucking turn, dude? I don't mean to swear, but I'm just kind of upset how they just didn't care about these units that much at all. Um, yeah, they just, they just didn't really care much at all, but she, at least she has immunity stop. But. It's already been mathed out that she is definitely not the top one of the top mages in the game. She's not even close. She's not even close to the top mages in the game, so she's not a good. She's not the best mage, and she's definitely not the best support. So I'm not really sure what they were going for. But whatever they were going for, they definitely missed the mark. Because I don't know, understand why they had to make such foolish things. Now, when you go down here, yeah, you can see that she has some decent abilities now. So after using this cooldown, because she does... Wait. How does this unlock? Oh. So she gets... But she just gets a random chance of activating ability after two turns. I thought that was just a cooldown. Okay, so she does get, for two turns, she gets this. Which is actually pretty good. Okay, maybe I'm starting to change my tune a little bit. I thought these were uh, unlocked by the... These are actually really good. Now, if only this also gave, like, auto-revive or something. 
This is still a really good ability for one ally. It's pretty good. Most of the time you're probably gonna use it out in your tank. And also 40% damage mitigation and also 50% status or 50% unlocked resistance. That's really good. And then we have garbage like this. Like why why bother with that garbage dude? Come on. Why why this is a summon fest unit. They shouldn't be having abilities like this. I get that I think that's a a thing that you can learn in the game, but like just it doesn't translate well here. This doesn't translate really well. That's garbage. She does have a lot of made her to-do wheel, which is nice. She has a lot of killers, which is nice. But it's against avians and machinists, which avians will actually be useful up for the upcoming fight. Chocobo. Chocobo trial, but other than that, like machines really. There's not a lot of machines in the game, guys, and there are very few birds. Tell you that right now, so that's nice. Um, yeah, so I think we're, I think we're about done. Where would she fit, really? I mean, the only way I can see that she would ever fit into your team is if you don't need a magic tank or a physical tank, and you have an extra slot, I suppose. And she could be like that kind of role where she has like the extra slot role. I don't know how else you're supposed to fit her in because she's definitely not going to be a top tier chainer on her own. She definitely can't do that. If you have Sarah or Syphilis, Tetrasylphie, Syphilis, you are you don't need her. She's just that, that side chainer, that side chainer role, which apparently they've been getting a huge hard on for lately. If you look at Green Mage Marie, she also has the same kind of capabilities. So they have this hard on lately for like side chainers, just like how. Vanilla with her 5 star form, she also has that side chaining capability. I don't understand why. It just doesn't really work. It just doesn't really work unless they give us 7 slots. If they give us a 7 slot, that would be, well first of all that would be super overpowered. And secondly, we would have, have room for these side chaining roll units. So with that in mind, obviously Selfie is much better than Irvine. I don't know what they're thinking with Irvine. Hey, he's not a summon fest unit, so let's make him really shitty. Um, so yeah, he's he's okay as a finishing role, but as a as a bare bones finishing role, that's that kind of role is over with. Like even Cloud, as a, he can be a limit burst finisher, but he can also be a limit burst chainer, and also a ground chainer. Whereas Irvine doesn't have any of that kind of stuff. He's just a finisher, and that's it. This doesn't count. So. My thoughts probably pass on a sure Final Fantasy VIII fan like myself. So, speaking of that, if you want to see some polls later on in my ske normal scheduled broadcast of Twitch, you can follow my Twitch channel down below and I'll be doing polls live, so make sure you tune in for that. Other than that guys, I think we've said enough. Decent banner, no uh, we can't really review the banner because it's still in maintenance because there's something going on with the app store, of course, like always. Um, yeah, there's no panel like other raids have had, so it's unfortunate. But I'll still be trying to go for at least one of each. That's about it. So, thanks for watching, guys. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Please consider liking the video and also let me know what you guys think down below. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.